Grambling. Now, obviously, uh, HBCU, like they have a fantastic traditional program. They appear ready to announce Art Bryles as their next offensive coordinator. Now, obviously, everything's going a little crazy in uh, in the SWAC right now with Deion Sanders being the head coach at Jackson State, right? And then you had Tennessee State hire, uh, uh, God, what's the guy's name? Eddie Eddie George, right? The former Titan running back, former yeah. Ohio State running back. Um, so you're, you're getting like these big names. If I ask you right now, who is the head coach for Grambling? Could you tell me who it was? Oh, no. no. That would be one Hugh Jackson. Know. The former Bengals coach. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> we it happened no, in December, former, and and we he's all the just former Browns coach. Yeah. He, he was an assistant at the Bengals. Ah, that's right. Yeah, Bengals uh, assistant coach or uh, offensive coordinator, and then was the Browns yeah. head coach. Um, and was awful. Like zero and sixteen. Like he just and was awful. Yeah. The worst coach in NFL history. Yes, yes, really, really bad. And now well, he's. Mm, uh, him and, him and Freddie Kitchens got a, got a little 1A, 1B <laughs> yeah. going on right there. Yeah, Freddie, yeah. Freddie, Freddie only got Browns one year, and they, right? And it, well, that's all he needed, okay? <laughs> he didn't deserve that. You're probably right. You're probably right. That would be evidence number one of white coaches getting too many chances, by the way, if I was going to lawsuit anything. It'd be like, you see this son of a bitch right here? He got a whole 16 days. Well, and and the eight games before that, right? Oh, no, no, no. He wasn't even the uh, he wasn't no, even he the interim. Was the OC. Yeah, that's right. No, he was the, he was the OC. Whew, just ridiculous. So, uh, so yeah, Hugh Jackson is looking into hiring Art Bryles. Now, if you've listened to this show for long enough, you understand our view on the Art Bryles situation with Baylor. Uh, he he got fired in 2015. He has he was announced as the OC for I believe a CFL franchise. And then that never actually got to coach a game because there was such a public black uh, backlash about it. Um, and then after that, you had him as the uh, head coach for a high school. I think it was Mount Vernon or Mount uh, something in Texas. And he abruptly resigned from that. I believe he thought he was going to get another job. Ended up not. This could be good for him. And it could be really, really good for Grambling. Right? Do we think that yep. he can still have a big effect on uh, on a football program? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yes, there are very few offensive minds in football as good as this man. I, I I've, I've been a defender of his for a long time. If I was at a school that was struggling to 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 do well, this is a guy that I would call to be my OC, um, and 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 kind of see if we could get on a path of redemption for him, um, and and, and just build something else up. I, I think he's a hell of a football coach. I think he's a hell of an offensive mind. I think if you buy into his system you're going to put points on the board. You're just going to do it. I, I tend to agree. I, this, I've seen him turn too many tomato cans into great quarterbacks. True. Okay? true. And then they turn back into tomato cans as soon as he leaves. Yeah. Or as soon as they I, this, leave him. This could make Hugh Jackson look like a really, really smart man. I will, t- yep. I will tell you that. Yep. Best, listen, this is the best decision Hugh's made in a long, long time. Now, you have certainly got that right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.